Today, we'd like to explain how accumulated radioactive water is collected and processed while referring to the presentation materials. Although we have already explained how the water is processed several times during the installment of each piece of equipment, we are planning to systematically explain the measures for the next three to four weeks. Today, once again, we'd like to give you a broad overview of the overall workings of the water treatment facility. Please look at the first slide. The system chart shows the whole picture. The water currently injected into the reactor building is leaking out inside the reactor building through the primary containment vessel and then flowing into the turbine building. If the water level in the turbine building rises, it increases the risk of highly concentrated radioactive water leaking out into the environment. Thus, we have been pumping it out and transferring it to the process main building and the high temperature incinerator building. We aim to process this highly concentrated radioactive water properly and reuse it for the water injection into the reactor in order to reduce the risk of high level contaminated water leaks into the environment as well as to reduce the excess water generated as a whole. The the development of this plan began immediately after the accident. We started the installation work in May, then started operating the water treatment facility in late June. At first, due to a lot of troubles, the system was unable to meet the expected performance level. However, it is now running stably. The water level in the turbine building has been stabilized at around OP3 meters. Therefore, we now consider the highly concentrated radioactive water to be under proper control. Next, please. This slide shows the overall layout of the water treatment facility. First, the red bold line shows the circulation loop which is approximately 4 kilometers long. The water pumped up from the turbine building is purified by the water treatment facility and then stored in the storage tanks. Finally, it is sent back to the reactor via the reactor injection pump utilizing buffer tanks forming the loop. The water pumped up from the turbine building goes into the process main building marked as number one and two on the slide and the building where SARI, the second cesium adsorption apparatus, is installed. The water is pumped up and goes through the oil separators. Then, cesium is adsorbed. The water treated by water treatment facilities such as Curion, Arriva, and Sari goes through the desalinization system where chloride ion is removed. Then it is reused as the processed water for the reactor. This is the overview of the system. As for the waste sludge, it is now kept in the storage tanks in the process main building. In addition, 2,800 cubic meters of the temporary storage tanks for high-level contamination has been installed to the right and is ready for storage. Next, please. This is the overall system chart. As written in small letters on the left side, after the water is stored in the first and second basement of the process main building following the dotted line, it goes into the oil separators and next to the right into various processes such as the cesium adsorption apparatus, 
decontamination instruments, and then the second cesium adsorption apparatus. The processed water is temporarily stored in the tank called SPTB. Currently, Ariva, which is a decontamination instrument, is standing by as a backup to reduce waste sludge generated. Currently, the water is processed by Curion, which is a cesium adsorption apparatus, and Sari, which is the second cesium adsorption apparatus. The sanitation system processes the excess water in the plant by two steps. First, using the RO membrane of the water is divided into salty water and water not containing salt. Then, the concentrated salt water is divided into further concentrated salt water and distilled water. Finally, the water goes back into the buffer tank shown on the left-hand end and is injected into the reactor. Now we will show the status of each instrument using pictures. Please look at the next page. Although our previous explanations were a bit limited, these are the transfer routes for the highly concentrated radioactive water that travels through each building. We transfer the water from the turbine building to the centralized radiation waste treatment, treatment facility using Caniflex. Next, let's move on to sheet number three. Since the roots run outside, the lead wool mat is used to shield radiation as well as to prevent hoses from deteriorating due to ultraviolet exposure. Next, please. The water transferred using hoses and others goes into the process main building and the miscellaneous solid waste volume reduction treatment building. Then, after it is pumped up, the oil is separated. Since the water leaks out into the turbine building, it contains such things as grease and lubricant oil which could jam the cesium adsorption tower. Therefore, the water first goes through the oil separator. The picture to the right shows the inside. At the wire mesh, the oil and the water are separated using the difference of the specific gravity. Next, please. Next is the curion separator, which is the cesium absorption apparatus. Cylindr cylindrical vessels are located in the box called skid. Zeolite is in the vessels. When the water goes through zeolite, cesium contained in the water is adsorbed. Thus, the water is purified. Generally, the current de decontamination index, DF, is 10 to the fifth power, which means that the cesium is adsorbed to the level that the concentration of the outgoing water is approximately 100,000 of that of the incoming water. On the lower right, you can see the pictures showing the replacement of vessels and the manipulation of the replacement. Cesium absorption apparatus is replaced every, once every two to three days. Since the radiation dose at the surface is high, this work is done remotely. In the picture captioned, manipulating the replacement of vessels, you can see that the staff is operating a joystick to hoist a vessel and move it to the storage area. Next, please. The next slide shows Ariva's decontamination instrument. Cesium is adsorbed by zeolite in the cesium absorption tower. Ariva's decontamination instrument coagulates cesium and other radioactive materials dissolved into the water using chemical reactions. The picture on the right side shows tanks for the chemicals necessary for the treatment. The chemicals are injected from these tanks into the decontamination instrument that consists of some tanks shown in the left picture for coagulation. Although the decontamination index of Arivas is high, it generates waste sludge. Therefore, we have stopped using it. Now it is on standby. Next, please. 
えー、続きまして、えー、Next, Sally. The structure is similar to that of Curion. A zeolite is placed in vessels. Likewise, when the water goes through it, cesium, a radioactive material, is adsorbed. After cesium is adsorbed, the tower is replaced every two to three days. We have been operating SARI since August. Basically, SARI is a little bit easier to operate compared with Curion. Thus, now we mainly use SARI for the water treatment. なお、サリーに関しましては、8月から運用を開始いたしましたけれども、基本的に給料に比べて少し運用がしやすいということもございまして、現在はサリーの方を主力に、水処理の方を行っているという状況でございます。Next, please. It shows the replacement of vessels. Regarding SARI, each vessel is shielded from each other, so the vessels are replaced like this. Basically, we move it in by trailer when installed like this. When it is taken out, it is done by remote control. Next, we will explain desalination via the RO membrane, which is one of the desalination systems. Here, the desalination system applying the RO membrane is used. By injecting the processed water into the RO module on the left, salty water and water not containing salt is divided. Due to the issue of radiation to the RO membrane, the radiation dose of the incoming water must be below 100 becquerel cubic centimeters. Now, the water below the limit processed by SARI and Curion goes through this membrane to remove the salt. Separation effectiveness is approximately 40%. Concentrated water is gradually accumulated. We are now installing another instrument for further concentration. It is the evaporative concentration apparatus shown in the next page. なお分離する能力は約4割でございまして、残りの水がたま、濃縮された塩水がたまってまいります。その水をさらに濃縮したいということで、次のページでございますが、蒸発濃縮式の炭水化装置を設置を進めております。The evaporative concentration apparatus made by Arriva and Toshiba has been already installed. We also completed the commissioning, but we haven't yet started full scale operations since we currently have a sufficient amount of processed fresh water. We will decide when to start operations depending on the situation. Next, we will explain about the tanks. As explained previously in the video, two types of tanks are used in the desalination instruments. They are tanks for receiving. Processed water and those for receiving concentrated salt water. Please look at the pictures. A round tank can contains approximately 1,000 tons, whereas a blue tank to the left can contain approximately 100 tons.、Uh, more tanks will be installed depending on the progress of the water treatment. We plan to secure the capacity to receive processed water by expanding by approximately 20,000 cubic. Meters each month until around December. Finally, the process control system. As you can see a little bit from the picture on the left, the control system is in the container. Basically, as shown on the right picture, the system chart is shown on the computer screen and is operated by the touch controls. Generally, it is operated 24 hours a day over three shifts. One operation unit consists of eight staff members. 主に大体24時間、三交代で運用しておりますけれども、一般当たり8名の人間がこの操作に携わっている状況でございます。Next, please. Regarding the surveillance monitors, they have been installed in the main anti earthquake building too. Therefore, if there is any abnormality or trouble in the water treatment facility, we can grasp it at the main anti earthquake building as well. Today, we provided an overview of the workings behind the collection and processing of accumulated radioactive water. Later, we are planning to provide periodic explanations of the status of each instrument and tank installations.